What's going on guys? I'm Marshaler9 in the last video I showed you how to get an SS shard and the cool ring that gives you uh, more souls so we're going to teleport to Howal Vlothric This area is kind of fun. I'm not sure. Uh, fun this time though. It's fun with the sorcerer, so I'm guessing it's gonna be more fun on this guy. If you guys don't know, I do have a vi big video buffer, so by the time you comment and tell me I missed something. I'm probably far far past that, just saying. But we'll see how it goes. There is a lot of cool covenants in this game. There's one in particular called the Mag Covenant. But that which I'll show you how you get there when we get to that area, but basically the problem is if you kill a boss before you talk to a certain person. You can't get you can't join it. Which kinda sucks. Ooh, there's some inside up there. What, some inside already? Basically what the bad covenant is though is a person who has a purple summoning sign. You can summon them. Let's see. I don't want to summon them make the game too easy. Uh Down that way. There's a guy right there, by the way. If you go down that way, there it is. It's a mad phantom. Do you want to summon him? Do not summon him. Do not summon him. <laughs> uh, basically, what it is is a, a player. You can summon a player. And they can kill you or they can help you, whatever they, they choose to do. They make them appear they make themselves appear white. They can make themselves appear as a good phantom. But in reality, they're actually a bad phantom. Makes any sense to you? So, if you see a mad phantom, don't summon them. That just le. <laughs> it's it's bad. Some guys playing with today, uh, my sorcerer. He saw a mad phantom, but he didn't. He had no idea it was a mad phantom. It was too late. All right there. Basically what happened though is that the guy had a ring on, the uh, other player had a ring on that made him turn uh, white, so when you summon him he doesn't appear purple or red, he's white. So by doing that basically, you think he's a helper, he helps you a little bit, gets your trust and he stabs you in the back when you're held slow. Basically what he does, so I'm going over here real quick. The dragon's not here yet. It sucks. Okay, so we're gonna stay in this corner for a minute. Get him hit. It's like a breaking people's guards in this game. Yeah, I got what I needed from him. Hey, good. 
Right, we're gonna run up here real quick. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. Yeah, it didn't work. Dragon's gonna spawn pretty soon. I'm not sure when, though. I'm gonna gonna do is uh I'm gonna try to get the claymore. So we're basically done up there for now. Come on here real quick. We're actually gonna look at the required stats for a claim more. Uh, let's see if we can use it yet. Oh, we can't. We need more strength and more decks so we can use it. So we're gonna be working on that pretty soon. Our goal. At first, we're gonna go back to the bonfire, heal up. Cause yeah, that wasn't too good. We're we're on our road to becoming OP. The claymore is a fantastic weapon. Just saying, it's probably my favorite from Dark Souls One. Didn't use it in Dark Souls Two. Didn't care for it. But Dark Souls One, One, hmm. It bay. Uh, I'm just getting free souls out of these guys. They're a joke, so might as well. It's all of them. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna get our S's back, and we're gonna work, work our way back down. As I said before, do not summon this guy. He can kill you if he wants to. If not, he doesn't have to kill you. But I think I chased me before. I don't know. Remember correctly, yeah. Run up here, see what's up here real quick. That's what's up there. Pop an Estus. Run up here again. Get binoculars, cool. They're horrible in this game, by the way. You can't aim spells anymore. On Dark Souls 2, you can aim spells really well with them. And Dark Souls 1, too. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, if you don't kill that guy in the beginning pretty quick, he'll turn into a big monster and kill you. So, keep that in mind. Haha. -ha. Go go with him. Don't have to use the ladder, you won't take any fall damage to jump on that platform. And I'm gonna call it a cut here. We got the Claymore's video. I taught you about uh purple sign, so it'll be links inside the screen if you want to go back to his parts or previous parts again. And that'd be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'm Martian Night, I'm out peace.